Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So for today, we are going to do another Moana tutorial since we are currently doing a Moana tutorial series. So today, we are going to draw Maui, which is voiced by Dwayne Johnson, also known as The Rock. So there's this particular image where Maui's looking at Moana and he, he has the rock look on his face, the arched eyebrow. So we're gonna draw that. We're not gonna draw his full body because if you have seen Maui, we're going to keep it as simple as possible. He is covered in very elaborate Hawaiian tattoos. So we're going to keep this as simple as possible and we're going to draw him from like the shoulders up to his face. So to start off, what I'd like to do is I'm gonna go ahead and draw this straight. A bit of a line up here bring down this side, bring it around, bring this around, and connect all the way back up. So we just made the shape of Maui's head, like the generic shape. We're gonna have to fill it in a little bit later. I'm gonna draw this line straight down the middle to mark the middle of his face. And then I'm gonna come right up here and make his eye line right up here. Since his eye line is a little bit closer to the top of his forehead as opposed to this is mostly chin down here. What I like to do next is I'm going to go all the way to the corner and draw a circle here and then I'm going to go over here and draw a circle here. And then from right here what I want to do is I'm going to draw big oval right there. Now we're just placing where his facial features would be on his face. So after that, let's go ahead and fill in at least the right side of his face. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna jump over here and I'm gonna start the arch eyebrow. After that, I'm just gonna bring it up just a little bit and carry on this side of the eyebrow as well. I'll go ahead and fill that in. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump back here and bring out one line. And then I'm gonna jump over here, bring out another line here as well. But this is still his eye. So I have a line and a line. And then I'm gonna jump right here. And fill in where his pupil iris would be. I'm gonna add the shine to his eye. And Maui has brown eyes, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in his pupil. And then if I lightly shade around that eye, around his pupil, we have his dark brown eyes. And we just leave that. And this is a nice thick line on top. So we'll just leave that for right now before we start shading. Now let's jump over to this side of his eye where we're going to go ahead and cut off the top of the eye over here just because of his eyelid and give it a little bit more of a shape. Then we're jump over down below, we'll just round that off. We're going to keep this part, but then we're gonna start this eyebrow a little bit ways up here. And I'm gonna start with the bottom of his eyebrow. Bring this up, bring it over, and then I'm gonna go back down. Then I'm gonna jump right here, make that other full pupil iris shine area. And we leave a little bit of white space on top. See another shine to his eye right here and then his pupil. I'm going to lightly shade around there to give him his brown eyes. And then this line right here, we're going to draw a line on top of the eyelid line that's kind of like that. Now he has a lot of lines going on in his forehead, but we'll get to that in a second. After that, what I'd like to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring up this line on his face, which is just like his generic, you know, dimple area, because he's smiling. So we're just gonna go ahead and line that underneath the left eye. 
And then what, let's go ahead and fill in his nose. So this whole area is his nose. What we're gonna do is we're gonna draw, first draw the middle of his nose, which is an oval in, in the middle of this one. But on this side, it's going to be, we'll see a little bit more detail as opposed to this side. So bring this around, bring it up and connect to the middle. Jump over here. Not as not as long as the side, we're just bringing around, make it a little shorter. This nostril a little shorter because we're seeing more of this side of his face as opposed to this side of his face. Now I'm gonna go right here and make one nostril and go over here. We're gonna leave this side over here. And we have one nostril over here. Under here we have a little bit of shading. Then we have this line that's gonna stay. We have another line on top. But this line is gonna stay. Let's get rid of some guidelines. So underneath his nose, you're going to lightly shade, and as a, over here as well, you're gonna shade it just a little bit over here. So we are looking straight into Maui's nostrils. Above this line that we made, not above this line, but above this one, I'm going to shade in. All the way from the arch of his eyebrow. And especially back here. I'm going to go ahead and make those marks for his eyelids a little bit more prominent. And just his eyelash line. He doesn't really have any eyelashes, but you just want to make that line nice and dark. Make sure he, I'm going to make sure that shading his eyelid darker over here as well. Now underneath his nose, what you're going to do is you're just going to make a line right here. Now you're going to bring this line off to the side bring this line up here. But you want to make sure it's close to his nose. So this is going to stop right here. So we have that little bit of a dimple mark. Now we're going to jump over here. Make this a little bit of a dimple mark. Now I'm going to jump back. We just drew the top up line for his lip. Now I'm going to go from this dimple mark. Bring down this line and it's the middle so it's like where the bottom and the top lip meet the, the crease connect and then I'm just gonna lightly go underneath right here And go back to that point. Now for shading wise, I'm going to shade above this line just a little bit. And underneath this lip, I'm going to shade more underneath as opposed to shading the actual under lip. So I'm going to shade below this lip line. His bottom lip, I'm going to shade below it. curve up this line over here as well. Now, like I said, he has a lot of lines going around, so we, have, we know we have this one right here. So let's start with the right side of the lines of his face, so we can see a dimple mark here. 
And this has a lot of shading because it's a really deep dimple area. Now from over here, we have his dimple up here. And we have another line. And then this line goes away all the way, all the way over here. And those are the main lines that are in this area of the left side of his face. What I'd like to do next is go ahead and shape up his, his face just a little bit more so we can go ahead and give him the actual shape. I'm going to jump above just a little bit and I'm going to make that hairline of his. He has a very prominent forehead up here. I'm going to bring this off to the side, bring this in, go straight down, give him a nice rounded chin. Bring it up. So we have our nice rounded chin. Bring this up. Round this off a little bit more. I'm going to go inwards just a bit like this and connect back up to that hairline. And then from over here, go ahead and circle off that ear. So his forehead. Lots and lots of lines going on, especially with the eyebrows, just to give them a little bit more dimension. So up here we have a little bit of a crease, another crease over here, I'm going to start from right there, bring that up, another crease of that eyebrow, jump up, it's kind of disconnected just a little bit, and we're going to go ahead and bring that back, and then we're going to jump on top and bring down this forehead line. And we have a lot of shading going on, but we'll, we'll get to the shading as soon as we get to um, his hair. So before we do his hair, his hair is kind of hanging out on the side of his shoulder. So I'm going to jump over here to this, this side of his cheek. Bring out one shoulder going this way. And then we're going to jump down below right here. We have a little bit of a neck. Just a little bit of a neck. It's mostly muscle, and we're gonna bring this down over here. So we went underneath his ear, bring this down, and we got muscle. So what I wanna do next is I'm just gonna go ahead, we're gonna lay out his necklace, bring this around and up, and we'll at least do one tattoo line right here. So what I'm gonna do, we're going to bring down this line of tattoo. And the tattoo goes underneath his chin and all the way up to his shoulder. Now for his hair, it's right here. It starts up here. For fun, just for now, we're going to go, <laughs> he has really curly hair, similar to Moana. So I'm just going to bring this down like in chunks. It's going to go down this way, back behind the shoulder. So I'm just making this wavy hill. And then we're gonna jump over here, bring off this part of his head. Wavy, wavy chunks all the way down and it's back behind his shoulder. We're gonna make it nice and wavy. All right, now we have one strand of hair right here that's kind of going doo -doo -doo -doo, like this. Onto his, his forehead and then we have a little bit of like hair curly hair going over here and it's just going back behind his ear so let's go ahead and fill in that ear we're gonna square off the top square off the side and bring it back and then we have a line and then another line not really an earlobe and then you just shade in this side of his ear and have a line All right, so let's break this up in a couple pieces. We have a couple of like, you know, pieces of hair that can't pick a direction. So we'll just put them off to the side over here. And you just really just want to break this up. And he has dark brown hair, so make sure if you color this, you have dark brown hair. You just want a couple breaking off from the crowd. So like the Moana tattoo, the easiest way to do this with a concept area is just to go ahead, shade it in, and then fill it in with curls after you have the entire area shaded. So that's what I'm going to do. 
What I suggest next is to go ahead and underneath this area, make it darker since the sunlight is hitting more up here and over here. So I would make this darker underneath. Now that I've done that, now I can go in and give it more like actual strands just to make it easier. Alrighty, so let's get to at least one tattoo line. And you can see how elaborate his tattoos are. So above this necklace line that we have, the tattoo will stop right about up here, like its bottom line. So this is disconnected from this one. So we're gonna go ahead and disconnect this one underneath by going underneath that one. If you have seen the movie, then you saw how the tattoos are put onto their skin. And Moana was actually watching a guy getting a tattoo in the movie, and I highly suggest you go and see the movie. But, no spoilers. Um, it just looked really painful how they got tattoos back then. No thank you. <laughs> but anyways. So I'm gonna go underneath this top line we just made and it's just going to be a simple, fairly thick line. So we have our thick line and then the necklace is covering up the rest of that bottom of that line. So we're gonna start with <laughs> this one, I think is a good place to start. You're going to make a triangle and then you're gonna jump on top of that triangle and make another one, don't fill it in. And then after that, you're going to jump up and make another line for a triangle. Now this creates a pattern, and so that means after that, you're going to jump off to the side, and you're going to make another upside down triangle, and this is going to line up underneath his face. And then you're going to start this process over here again, off to the side. So baby triangle, triangle on top of that triangle on top of that. And then you start again. Go all the way to the line. Baby triangle. 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 And it goes to his shoulder. So he's completely filled with tattoos like these patterns. That's why I would think it would take a two hour tutorial to teach you all of Maui's tattoos. So we're gonna go and start underneath this one and we have an upside down triangle once again. Underneath his chin. And then we go baby triangle. 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 Upside down triangle. Baby triangle. 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 Upside down. Baby triangle. 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 Big triangle. Baby. Triangle. Triangle. <laughs> That's as, as simple as I can get for that tattoo. Necklace line. So it's, it looks like a fish line. So we're going to make this necklace line fairly thick. So we have our thick fish line. So we're going to start with this tooth over here. Make it big. And then you're just going to bring out this tooth. It kind of looks like a jaguar tooth. And then scoot down a little bit over here. And we're gonna make a tooth that kind of looks like a carrot. Scoot down over here. Make a little bit of a line like that. Make a curved top. Make a C, curve it around. Another tooth, jump over off to the side right here. And it's a big human tooth. <laughs> So we're going to make a circle up here, and you're going to bring this off to the side, this off to the side, and then this off to the side. And it's connected right here, and it's wrapped, it's got string around it, and you're just going to get a, a little bit of indention that it's a human tooth. So I'm curve that inward and bring this down. String around that, and 
here's the string connecting to the main string. Move off to the side just a little bit, make an area for string. We have a little jagged tooth. Off to the side a little bit, another roped off section for another big tooth. Then we jump off the top. This tooth is going straight through the line. Bring it down, nice and sharp. And then off to the side, this is a shark tooth. Make a little bit of a string attaching to it. And we're just gonna bring off this side. Go up a little bit. Bring this down and up. And then the way the string is wrapped around this tooth, this is our string going off to this side string going this way and then string going across it. We're going to move up a little bit more and we're going to have another roped off section. Circle this section off, bring up this tooth and bring it back. And then this is the last tooth over here. Little area for the string attached roped off area and then this one looks like it's broke so I'm gonna bring this up bring it around make it jagged and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this in bring this in, and I'm gonna shade that to make it look like it's broke now for each section that I kind of made circles for that's where you want to go back and actually make it look like string being wrapped around the tooth So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and just, I'll just give it lines. That's all it really is. It's just a bunch of lines. Lines here, lines there, lines everywhere. You just want to give it lines because he just tied fish line around it. And for his actual necklace, you want to go ahead and since it is rope, just give it little lines going in a diagonal direction to make it look like a fish sign. And then after that, just a little bit of shading. I'm going to shade just a little bit underneath his neck. Because he has, he is completely made up of muscle. So you just want to give that indication. He is based off of Dwayne Johnson. So my goodness, give this man a lot of muscle and just kind of shade off to the side over here and over here. We've got a good definite line because his hair's back beneath that. But yes guys, that's a quick simple tutorial for Maui from Disney's Moana. Now the movie is officially released into theater so make sure you go and see it. I have already seen it and I plan to see it again. It is absolutely amazing and it's gonna make you wanna move to Hawaii as soon as possible. Like that's my next goal in life is to move to Hawaii or at least visit Ulani. But yes guys, I was thinking we could do, since we're getting really close to Christmas, um, I plan on doing like a bunch of craft tutorials and everything for Christmas just because we need to go ahead and make presents for our family members, whether they be Christmas related or they be something generic that's a fun craft that you can give to your loved ones for Christmas. So we are going to do two tutorials next week, which will be Hey Hey and Pua. So that's the chicken and Moana's pig Pua. So we're gonna do two tutorials next Thursday just so we can go ahead and get this series finished up and we can go onwards with Christmas. So yes guys, I hope you go and see Moana. Have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all later. Bye!